Hello, beta testers. This is the main menu for Marvel's Avengers. Problem. None of these heroes are wearing the skins that I've equipped for them. Imagine buying MCU skins, but then being forced to look at this. Ugh. The reason they're not wearing my equipped outfits is because the game is programmed to show them as they first appear in the story campaign if you have reset it. Which is two whole problems right there, because even though all I wanted to do was access the flight mission with Tony Stark, the helicarrier mission, and the MODOK final boss mission just to see these skins in their cutscenes, I don't have instant access to that because you can't currently play specific missions, you have to completely reset progress putting hours of Kamala Khan between you and your desired mission. Which brings us neatly to the next problem. You are locked into the original skin for portions of the game story campaign, not to mention a lot of your abilities are locked off from you as well even when you're playing it again from the beginning. Locked skins during cutscenes, heroes displaying the incorrect skins. Mm. Really makes you think. As I said months ago, these missions, the bridge, Stark Flight, Helicarrier, Modoc Fight, should be instantly accessible at all times because they are the closest your game has to real Marvel. Ideally, you would allow us a theater section to just play the cutscene with our currently equipped skins, but if not, at least allow all hero-specific missions to be accessible to players to take their skins out for a test drive, as it were. Whatever is quicker and easier to implement. This screen crystal dynamics is now more important than you think it is. It's been whatever up until now, but when you throw MCU skins in here, inject some real Marvel into it, this is the display case for devoted fans to whales. And I'm warning you, don't smudge up the glass and ruin potential sales. I love my all black team. To put it in terms you'll understand or you're familiar with, Crystal, it really fills me with a sense of pride and accomplishment. Players should be able to choose which heroes are visible on this screen. Hmm? Like, like this is how it might look if you got, got to choose who was on the screen? Hmm? Wasteland, so great, right? Look, they should be able to choose the background or the setting. Or to put this in terms that you can understand, you could have been selling people set dressing as locations or sets for like $5 a pop or whatever. If they can't have real Marvel locations, at least give players a nice background to freshen up their virtual aquarium. This screen should be accessible at all times, so if a streamer is asked, hey, what's your hero lineup look like? They can immediately switch to it and advertise. Beta testers, you know what really drives me insane? Hulk. Hulk can't pick up cars. There are emotes in the game, but there's no emote wheel, and, and Hulk has no transformation emote. Lego does this. Fortnite does this. Everything does this. But not this game. Why are Hulk's base stats similar to Kamala Khan's? What? Do I even need to talk about traversal? Beta testers, you ever load into a map and see yourself for a split second before it fades to black to show you an unskippable cutscene of you dropping from the Quinjet? <laughs> Every mission starts with a Quinjet departure, yet no Hulk transformation drop? Have you seen the movies? Mobile games do this, bro. Oh wait, you put this in single player. No one's played Overwatch? This has highlight intro written all over it. You could have charged people for variations of this and let them use it with different skins instead. It's just this, oh, I'm on the ground now, can't skip this, even though you, you, you're showing us that we're already loaded into the map, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I often laugh at the frankly absurd amount of lazy concept images you have as nameplates demonstrating just how out of touch you'd have to be to expect players to actually want to choose a picture of a location as a nameplate. Come on now. Y'all put an Instagram filter on a still image and called that animated? Come on now. Let me say it like this. This is yet another free consultation from the most valuable asset a team like yours could dream for. An honest 
player, not a shill, not a YouTuber choosing his words carefully to stay monetized, not an ass-kissing employee role player that's telling you exactly what you want to hear, but someone who can speak to you like a man, like I'm part of your industry, without mincing words, no sugarcoating, not as a representative of a brand, but as someone real. And on that, ex-Marvel Heroes developer Brian Wagner is apparently joining the Crystal Dynamics team as system designer for Marvel's Avengers. I can't tell you how confusing this is to me as a game that's been out for eight months. Talented, I'm sure, but is Brian a necromancer? He's already taken the time to greet people on Reddit, and that's about 800% more communication than other people whose job it is to manage the community, which is worth commending. He said in a tweet that one of the things that convinced him to take the job was the leadership of Crystal Dynamics, maybe he means the lack thereof, telling me to give them honest feedback about the game and its issues and telling me that there were no egos in the room. I did and they were very receptive to my suggestions. Now let me be blunt in typical Kyle fashion, I bet you this motherfucker stretched down hole with exactly the kind of shit I've been saying for months and maybe they were willing to listen to him and if anything comes of this maybe the game will get better I am terrified for this man I'm not dying for new ways for Marvel's Avengers to monetize its content I just mean to illustrate how many ways this game is broken and how apparent that is to some people as soon as they load up the game w where are your other heroes oh well I started a campaign so they don't show up what that's the main menu bro the Mega Hives, the closest thing this game had to an end game mode, as it actually granted exotics for completion, has been disabled for days. The mode mocked by even the most proud defenders over half a year ago that has not changed in over seven months, a tone deaf, repetitive, and inexplicably single player mode in clear clash with what the game was and is trying so desperately to be, is not even in the game because of two whole different bugs. One, a glitch that when dying causes people to gain access to unreleased skins that they sure as hell don't want anybody to see, especially with how slow they're going to roll them out. And two, people's gauntlet progress was getting reset. They were downplaying that, of course, but they were aware and it was a real problem. But people's entire game progress is still getting erased daily. And if you even mention these facts, or Lord Kyle himself, he who shall not be named, the skin-worshipping defenders who demand only praise will spasm and twitch because any and all criticism is a personal attack in their inexperienced opinion. So here's some truth for those defenders. Eight months, one villain, and two archers added to a superhero game. Fact. No crossplay being pursued, confirmed by the developers. Fact. No join in progress being pursued, confirmed by the developers. Fact. The version of Patrol that we imagine requires join in progress to work, because otherwise, in 2021, Crystal Dynamics intends to drop an inferior mode to Destiny's 2014 offering. That is seven years ago. Campaign replay, but you can't select specific missions. Fact. Danger room knockoff that cannot change environments. Fact. Lazy. Small arenas already exist that could be effortlessly lifted out of the single player and flipped into content, the tighter the better. That's what he said. Have you never played Rust or Shipment? Is Call of Duty not your kind of game? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm afraid your job mandates you verse yourself in other games that are successful. Speaking of Call of Duty, glitches constantly got people falling from the sky, which players love, by the way. And if developers were really listening and paying attention, they would flip this into content. Make the glitch a feature. Fortnite drops. Call of Duty drops. Can you imagine us choosing where we're going to drop on patrol? Sounds fun, right? Stop ignoring games that work. You want to know why I use the term lazy as it pertains to Crystal Dynamics? It's because they're not unaware 
They're not ignorant. They don't lack creativity. They just ignore what works. Can you imagine Call of Duty without like stats pages? Or like a number to just to incrementally, infinitely increase. Show people this is this person's level as it contrasts maybe a new person coming in. Any sort of end game progression that players could use as an indication of the time that they've invested. That is wholly absent from Marvel's Avengers. And it really casts the shadow over the game of what's the point. It's one of the most shockingly insane aspects of this game, if I'm being completely honest, and I haven't seen this in ages in any game, because it's like it's not keeping score. What's the point? <laughs> There's so much wrong. By the one year anniversary, there will still be fixing left to do. Congratulations, beta testers. Defenders want you to forget how often they'd argue against MCU skins and tell you that it wasn't gonna happen, but it's just another thing to add to the pile of shit they're wrong about and have been wrong about for over half a year at this point. And now they're smugly excited about what's to come, who knows how many weeks from now, but what else are they going to be excited about, beta testers? You are this community. Thank you for voting with your wallets. Thank you for making your voices heard. The passion, the consistency, the defiance to plant yourself. And when they tell you, you really like Kamala Khan, you love Kate Bishop, to say, no, you move.